Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are going to be taking a much closer look at a knife that dropped late in the end of 2023. And when it came out, it was a Kaiser, obviously, as you saw in the thumbnail. I had a lot of good things to say about it. I really, really liked it. But it just came out at a time where there was so much going on in the knife world and in my life. It was it was hard to make content for everything. So I wanted to do the unboxing with the drop of those knives from Kaiser for that month. But then I plan on doing a full review of it like a week or two later. I just didn't get around to doing it with all of the other content I had for the end of the year stuff. And then, of course, the holidays are consuming in general. So I just never got around to it. And then it got to a point to where I wanted to make a full review of it because it is a fantastic knife. It needed a full review. Um, I just figured it was going to be sold out everywhere. So I hopped on just recently, just yesterday, actually, I, I hopped on a couple websites and I saw they were in stock at both places. So this is a very ready knife to get. It is, it is available in, in numerous places. If they carry Kaiser, there's a good chance it's going to be in stock. And uh, that boggles my mind because this is a phenomenal knife and it is kind of leading me to the subject of what you saw in the thumbnail. I think this might be one of the most underrated knives Kaiser has ever brought out. And what we're talking about here is the Kaiser Dogfish. This guy here is a beautiful combination of a lot of things. And we're going to go over all that in the review here. But we are talking design. We're talking ergos. We're talking action. We're talking extra details that you don't see on a lot of other knives. This knife has. And in a very affordable package that I think is one of the more impressive offerings Kaiser has brought out. Uh, over the past year. So before we get too deep into it, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length coming in at 7.44 inches, a blade length of 3.15 inches, and a blade thickness at 120 thousandths. We are looking at 154 cm for the blade steel right there, and we have a flat grind with a handle length of 4.29 inches, Aluminum scales with a fantastic job of milling. Uh, the Trek lock is back on this one for the locking mechanism. A very, very nice form of button lock. And we have a user of a right or left hand tip-up carry that, in all honesty, I don't think it could have been done any better. We'll talk a little more about that. Uh, we have a weight coming in at 3.39 ounces, designed by Caleb Waldman, and a price of $99. For everything this knife has going on, to be anything under $100, even if it's just a dollar, very, very impressive. I would take this knife over a lot of $150 plus dollar knives. Uh, it really does pack a punch in terms of value. And uh, overall, it's just an incredibly satisfying and uh, just a very, very solid knife overall that uh, I really, I, I feel like I'm kind of rediscovering this because when I first got it, like I said, there was so much other stuff going on. It didn't get enough pocket time, I don't think. And lately I've been carrying it more and uh, I've kind of fallen in love with it again. Let's take a look at some size comparisons and see how it stacks up with some other knives. And I have a couple here that I think are gonna be a great size comparison. We'll bring out this guy right here, the Hogue Deca, which is really right there. I mean, it's right there with the Deca in terms of, of overall length and uh we'll bring out my design the Vosti Thornton uh it is also a very good uh measure all overall just a little little longer than the Waldman uh but overall great ergos on all these knives and just some really really good designs I gotta say yeah I uh I'm not holding back on my design anymore I really like this knife really happy about it and who doesn't love a good Hogue Deca I mean come on um so as you can see this knife falls in in a very, very good size range. Just good for so many people. Uh, and this blade, let's start here with the blade as we always do. Uh, a very sleek and well-balanced drop point blade. I really like the amount of flat edge you have, but then you have plenty of belly up here towards the tip. Um, just one of those, I would, I would probably say a perfect drop point design. Really, really like it. Kind of like that harpoonish... Uh, design it has here towards the end a little farther back on the blade than you normally see a harpoon but uh looks really really good and we have perfect jimping on this blade everywhere perfect jimping up here all along the spine 
uh, towards the top and back into the rear flipper tab. But the jimping on the front is especially nice because it leads into the harpoon area up here and it acts as just like kind of a good stop, a ramp to tell your thumb, that's the end of the jimping, that's where it belongs. And it just feels really, really good. Perfect amount of tackiness and grip. Um, the jimping along here makes all of the deployment methods very, very enjoyable. And uh, you don't have any jimping in the blade cutout, but that works really well too. Um, going into the handle, this handle here has all of the details. Oh, one other detail about the, the, the blade that I forgot to mention. Crown spine, which I can't remember the last time Let's see, let's try and get a good angle. It's hard to show that with the uh, with the black blade, but uh, there you go. Um, pretty much a fully crowned. It, some may consider it a semi-crowning of the spine because you can see somewhat of an edge. It's not like a full roundness, but there is a good amount of crowning on the spine, and that always adds a nice little touch. It's a nice little detail for any blade. I really like what they did there. Now, into this handle. This handle not only feels great, that's the most important thing with any handle is ergos. This has some of the better ergos I've ever handled on a Kaiser. And I'm trying to think of what other Kaisers would be up there. Um, I would put the Doberman up there. I would probably put, um, I would have to put the Sheepdog up there. What else do I have? I'm kind of looking around at some Kaisers sitting around. Uh, definitely towards the top of the list of all-time Kaisers in terms of Ergos. Really, really love the Ergos. You can kind of choke back and it's still a four-finger grip, but you are, uh, you are selling yourself short if you're not using this choil area up here. Um, it wraps around your, or your hand wraps around the handle just perfectly. At least mine does. I could not enjoy these Ergos much more. Kind of reminds me of a little more narrow Shaman almost. Just a great, great job on the handle design there for some amazing Ergos. And the details in this knife, that, that's what I really love about this, that really make this, I feel like, next level, especially, like, it's, it's boxing way above its weight class at $99. You have some amazing Doppler milling, or really, actually, it is kind of a spiral milling. I forgot that. When you look at it from a distance, you just think Doppler milling. But if you look in, there is a bit of a spiral there that works out. The spiral starts right there, and if you follow it, it just slowly, slowly goes out. But it looks amazing, and it feels great. And what they did down here with this clip, this reversible clip, I love what they did. A couple things. Obviously, they made... An amazing filler tab for the side you're not using the clip on. But I also like the fact that they made this black. Because if they would have made it gray, the same color as the aluminum, you, you still would have seen it. Like, you still would have seen the line of the filler tab. So I like the contrast that the black brings with the gray to where you know it's there, but you're going to know it's there whether it was black or gray. So I just think it looks a little better with that extra little bit of black pop down there, especially with the black blade. Uh, I like how that turned out. And I love the fact that they went the extra step to put the milling on it, and the milling lines up extremely well. Just a great, great detail for this knife. Um, and you also have the Trek Lock, which is not to be forgotten because this Trek Lock does a great job of a secure button lock. And this is one of the better knives I've ever handled with a Trek Lock. Um, I would probably put this Dogfish, definitely my Thornton, as well as, uh, what else? Um, what's the one I'm thinking of? It's, it's an older Kaiser. Uh, the Cormorant. I would say the Cormorant definitely belongs up there too. Probably the, the three best knives to ever have a Trek Lock. Um, I just love what the Trek Lock brings to the table. Very nice and secure. And this one especially, it's a very, very smooth Trek Lock because when you push the button in, very, very little lock stick, if any. I would probably say there's like on a scale of uh, uh, 1 to 10, I would say the, the lock stick on this is a one like it's 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 barely barely noticeable so they did a really good job of keeping that smooth and another thing i noticed about this knife in general every knife can be a little different based on the design of how the 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 detent feels of a button lock this has a very satisfying detent it's not like a clicky detent but you definitely feel a good amount of like heaviness when you're going to deploy the blade. So you're really breaking through something. It's not necessarily a detent ball you're breaking through, but you're pushing through some force that helps throw the blade out and really make it a good, satisfying deployment. And you do get a pretty good thwack, um, kind of a muffled thwack, 
but it's a very satisfying deployment of the blade, which I really like. And you get it with all the deployment. You get it with the front flip, the reach around, and the middle finger flick. And I know some people may be looking at this and saying, oh, that blade cutout's way in there. It's hard to get to. Look at, okay. So I purposely trimmed my nails for this video. I've got like no fingernails right now, and it's very easy. Once you get used to it, if you buy this knife, you give it a day, if not even a day, like just, just fidgeting with it for an hour and you have it figured out. It's not hard. You just get it in there and uh, flick it out. And yeah, we are talking about how you deploy this blade, nothing else. But this is just a fantastic knife. I, I it, it, Seriously, I can't think of a knife this good at this price that has stayed in stock this long. Again, I, I wasn't, I got past the point where I was like, I'm probably just not even gonna make the review because I don't wanna, you know, piss everybody off reviewing a great knife that's sold out everywhere. Um, but again, it is in stock at Blade HQ. It is in stock on Kaiser's website and it's probably in stock at other places. Those are the two places I looked. And of course it'll be linked below. But uh, yeah, this is a great one. And I really hope to see more versions of it. Um, I would love to see a titanium version uh, with maybe either a stonewashed blade or that new shiny black DLC. Ooh, that would be sweet. Um, but we definitely need to see more dogfishes. If this is the only run of the dogfish, uh, there's something wrong. Because this knife is fantastic. And if when you get it in hand, especially if you like all those deployment methods, this is going to be one of the better purchases you'll make this year or last year. It is a fantastic knife. I'm going to continue to stand behind it. The Kaiser Dogfish. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you have not handled this one yet, you really, really, really need to. I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. You're probably going to see it on some lists because it is a great one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of this. And uh, let me know what your favorite Kaiser is so far. What Kaiser do you have that you just can't get rid of? Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.